So next we're going to talk about retreating blade stall. And I have a rhetorical question for you. What causes retreating blade stall? And the answer is you're going too damn fast. That's what causes retreating blade stall. All right. If you remember, if you watched all the dissymmetry of lift videos, then you know exactly what causes an increase in teetering. All right. Anything that increases the teetering then makes the speed at which a retreating blade stall occur lower and lower and lower. So what are those things? Again, if you're heavy, you have a high gross weight, you're operating the aircraft at a high altitude or high density altitude, if you're operating in turbulence, and then finally, if you over pitch the blades and get a, and get a decrease in the blade RPM, that can do it. If you decrease blade RPM, teetering increases, okay? I haven't really talked much about over pitching, but what over pitching is, if you were to come up on the collective, eventually you'll get to where the engine, the governor's rolled the throttle full open. And if you continue to come up with it, it's almost like taking your car to too high of a gear to lug down the engine. In this case, it lugs the engine and you lose rotor RPM. And again, the speed at which a uh, retreating blade stall would occur would be lower and lower if you have a loss of rotor RPM. Okay. So now, what's the symptoms that we're going to find if we get into an impending retreating blade stall? Well, the biggest thing you're going to notice is a rather severe vibration that's going to occur. When that vibration starts, you have got to immediately lower the collective, first and foremost, lower the collective. So you lower the collective and then slowly raise the nose up to slow the aircraft down, okay? There's a video, and I don't remember the name of it, it's actually on YouTube of a gentleman that's in an R44. It looks like he's operating at fairly high altitude and you can actually see the manifold pressure gauge is over on like 25 and he evidently comes up and over pitches the blades and he gets into an impending retreating blade stall and he gets this horrible vibration that occurs and you can see it on the camera. The aircraft's just vibrating like all, all get out. He ends up losing quite a bit of altitude and then finally lowers the collective and as soon as he lowers the collective the aircraft recovers. It's back to flying again and he's actually able uh, to land the aircraft. I'll tell you that if you do that to an aircraft, that amount of vibration can cause a significant degree of damage to the airframe and its components. So that's an aircraft that needs to be gone through with a fine tooth comb to make sure that there's nothing that, that needs to be replaced and repaired on it. So again, what causes a retreating blade stall? You're going too fast, all right? What's the, the symptoms of it are going to be that sudden vibration. You may get a, a slight up uh, up pitching on the nose as well because because <clears throat> what happens is the dissymmetry between the two blades is, is, is greater and you get more lift on this which rears its ugly head due to gyroscopic precession 90 degrees later and you'll get a little bit of an, an up pitch to the nose okay so let's say that you didn't lower the collective first and the nose pitches up like that and you did something stupid like push the nose back down the combination of high speed, a forward cyclic uh, position uh, will cause the retreating side, you'll get the, the stalled region on the retreating side will actually get larger and you just sealed your fate. Usually you'll get the equivalent of a high speed mass bump and then the blade can come around, chop off the tail boom and the aircraft can break, it, break apart in flight. Let's say that instead of lowering the collective, you thought, well, I'll slow the aircraft down and you just raise the, raise the nose up, even fairly aggressively raise the nose up. When you raise the nose up, that increases the angle of attack and that increases the amount of teetering and you just sealed your fate again. So it's going to increase the amount of teetering with the possibility of the aircraft actually breaking apart in flight. Okay. So what causes a retreating blade stall? You're going too fast. All right. Now, what's the first, what's the first, usually the first sign that you'll see is that vibration occurs. All right. At that point, what do you need to do? You have got to lower the collective lower the collective and then slowly bring the bring the nose up to slow the aircraft down and uh, that in a nutshell is retreating blade stall